Hi, I'm Carla. Hi, I'm Dave. With Photo Visualista, and today we're bringing to you a recipe that came from my mom. It's a chicken or turkey pot pie, and it's been one of our favorites for years. So let's just get right to the ingredients. We've got chicken over here. It's all been shredded and chopped. Um, we have two cans of cream of potato soup. And here we have just regular out of the can, right? Okay, and then um, Dave likes to add in cream of uh, chicken soup. It just adds a little more flavor. Yeah, it does. It truly does. Okay, and then to that, you also have your vegetables. These are also frozen, which makes it really convenient and easy. We have um, mixed peas and carrots and frozen corn. You can add whatever kind of vegetables, frozen vegetables that you like. You can put your frozen broccoli in there, or cauliflower. It's totally up to you, right? Which yeah, one do you I, like in there? I like green beans, but <laughs> she doesn't like green beans. No, so. green, no beans. green beans. No green beans. No green beans. No green beans. Um, so anyway, so let's just go ahead and get started with that. We've, we've already preheated our oven to 375 degrees and um, he already has this in here. So we're just going to add the cream of potato soup to that. And this is just a whole rotisserie chicken. What I did was I shredded it and chopped it. You can either buy it the whole rotisserie chicken or you can buy it already cut up and, and, and the, I think they're in bags, aren't they? They are. Yeah, where they're already done, where you don't have to spend the time. Because it takes probably, it took me probably a good 15 minutes to prep the chicken and, and get it ready to go. So, I'll start with the cream of chicken. That's a whole can of cream of chicken. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to do the cream of potato. That is two cans of cream of potato. And I'll put the peas and carrots in there. How much is how much was the peas and carrots? There, again? I think we want a cup and a half of uh, peas and carrots, and then a cup and a half of I buy the sweet white corn. Mm. So it's a cup and a half. Yeah, it's a cup and a half of each, so it'd be a total of three cups of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Now I'm he's gonna mix that up real well. Yeah. I'm gonna stir this around real good. While he's doing that, I'm going to tell you about, um, we're going to be putting this in our pie plate. I've already, obviously, put the pie crust in there, but the pie crust is just your friendly refrigerator kind that you can find at any grocery store. No big deal. Just make sure you use your rolling pin and roll it out. Um, make it the right size. And I've already done the three individual sizes that we're going to use, as well as the large one. And one of my little tricks is, or tips to this, is an egg wash. I apply an egg wash to the bottom of the pie crust, and that way it doesn't seem to get as soggy. So the crust has a little bit more crunch to it, and it doesn't seep all the ingredients in there. Okay, okay. now he's gone ahead and done and mixed that up really thoroughly, but you have to add milk to it. And yes. about a cup of milk is what you're going to add to it, especially when you have added the two cans of cream of potato as well as the cream of chicken. You need the extra milk in there. The recipe itself doesn't call for that much. It calls for a half a cup, but that's because we, we're adding the cream of uh, chicken in there. So yeah, and we've also added some extra vegetables because the original recipe shows two cups, but we went with three cups and then we went with a whole rotisserie chicken, which is probably the equivalent to about three to four cups of chicken. So we got, we made a little bit extra. Yeah. So we're going to put the one cup milk in there. If you don't put the milk in there, it just is way too thick. I yeah, this is, this is going to make a creamier consistency here. Well, he's doing that. I just want to let you know, um, yesterday was val Valentine's Day and I went ahead to decorate the pies. I cut out some small pie out of the pie crust with using my smallest cookie cutter that's in a heart shape. And I cut some of these out, these little hearts, and you can see them, they're right here. And what I'm going to do with those is after I put the top crust on, I'm going to add these around the edges all the way around. And just kind of dress it up a little bit 
just to give it something different. How you doing on that? Well, we almost got it ready to go here. Okay. It's got a good creamy consistency going here. I've been looking forward to this for like two weeks to do this video because I love this pot pie. It's so good. <laughs> I can't wait till dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, and before that, I'm going to photograph it. So yeah, I got I got to wait a little while. He's got to wait a little while <laughs> before so. he gets it. But okay. It'll still taste good. Okay, I think we're ready. All right. Why don't you go ahead and spoon some of that into all of these containers, starting with that first one there. And this is a really easy recipe. Anybody can do this, mm -hmm. and it's really good. And it'll feed a, it'll easily feed a family of four, probably for two nights. Yeah. You can. You don't have to make it in a pie plate either. You can use a Pyrex oblong um, container, and it'll work out just fine with that as well. Especially if you're feeding more people. Um, I just thought for the, just to photograph it, it would look kind of nice to have the three small individual size. And, you know, you can make these up ahead, put the crust on top, and just freeze them. Wrap them up really well and freeze them, and you can take them out later on at any given time. And um, go ahead and pop them in your oven. Let them defrost, obviously, and then pop them in your oven and bake them up. So while he's filling those up, I'm going to go ahead and finish this pie crust. As you can see, I already had the top pie crust ready. Kind of measured Is there out. enough in there, honey? Do you Did have I, more? I could probably put a little bit more in there because it looks like I'm going to have some left here. Okay. Well, I'll so just wait we'll... a minute while he does that. But anyway, this was that ready-made pie crust that I took and I rolled out ahead of time and trimmed all up so that I can finish off the top here. I'm also going to egg wash all of these. And what that egg wash does is it just gives it a nice shine and helps it bake up really nicely. Okay. How you doing? You got, got a little bit more? a little more? more left I can put in there. There you go. The more the merrier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got just a little bit more. Let me spread that around. <laughs> a little bit. He loves food. <laughs> I, love, I love food because I love eating. So. <laughs> okay. So, you know, the pie crust thing is just very similar to what you do when you make a regular pie crust. You're just going to fold this pull this up, fold this under, and you're going to work your way all the way around here doing that same thing. I went ahead and done the hearts around the edge. It's beautiful. Thank you. And I have one more left to do just right here in the center. And all I'm doing is lightly adding a little bit of water to the pastry dough. Pretty basic stuff. A little bit to my little heart. And I'm going to go ahead and place that little heart in there and just kind of pat it down. Make sure Perfect. you take the time to prick some holes with your fork to allow some of the steam to disperse in these pies so that you don't have an, kind of like an explosion. You want to do those? Sure. And then I also have an egg wash here and I'm going to make sure and apply this egg wash to all of the, all the pie, the crust, the little decorative pieces that I put on there with the hearts. And I'm just going to work my way around this. Now that makes the uh, edges crusty, right? Well, it gives it, it a nice, it? it gives it a nice sheen oh, okay. kind of, and it helps to brown it up a little bit. It just has a real, it's a really pretty finish when you add mm. the egg wash to it. Nice. Thank you. I'm not a baker. I'm a barbecuer, so. <laughs> I do all my cooking outside. I love to bake. And I love to do cookies, his favorite. I don't know oh, if you yeah. saw the blog or not, but made him some sugar cookies mm. for Valentine's Day. Did you like yeah, them? Yeah, I'm just about out now, so <laughs> almost time to make more. Time to make some more, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's that first pie. Okay, so I've gone ahead and applied the egg wash to all of these pies. And basically, like we said earlier, it's just going to make a nice sheen to it and have a nice golden color to the pies. Basically, an egg wash, all it is is one egg um, and one tablespoon of water, and you just mix that up really well until it comes to a nice creamy consistency. And then you just brush it on all the pie tops, and you can use it for pastries too as well. Um, before we put these all in the oven, I'm going to finish off 
pricking these so we have them ready to go all I right can't wait. there we are we're ready to go these can go Beautiful. ahead and go in our in our little oven okay. over here and like I said it goes into the oven at 375 for 45 minutes and then you take it out and let it cool until you're ready to eat and we'll show you the finished pies as soon as we get them done we'll be back okay. soon hi well, the 45 minutes has passed and we've already pulled the three small individual sized um, pies out. And as you can see, they turn out wonderful. They have a nice golden brown color to them. Um, flaky, the pie crust looks very flaky. And um, gosh, if you had smell vision, so, it would smell so good in here, are, huh? Are we gonna try some? No. No? Darn. <laughs> Not until after I, I photograph them, right. One thing I want to tell you all is that um, halfway through, or not halfway through, 30 minutes Maybe. into the cooking time, I took we took the pie, pies out and I wrapped foil around the edges of each one of the pies, small pies as well as the large pies. And then after we covered just the crust area with the pie, we put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes to continue cooking. And that's why you look as you look at them, there's just such a nice, even golden color to the pies. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got one more to take out. We've got oh. our big one to take out. Um, yeah, put your pot holders <laughs> for that. So, yeah, I've already got this turned off, so. Yeah. Go ahead, just pull it right out of there. Oh, okay, look at that. Look at that. Tilt that up for Ooh, them. Look at how beautiful. wonderful all the detailed work that we did on the hearts on the outside, as well as these hearts here. They just puffed up really nicely. And wow. so it's just a nice little detail to add. It's really easy to do. It doesn't take much time at all. And um, what, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to photograph these, and then we'll come back and we will do a taste test. And you had wanted to tell them about the seasoning, didn't you? Oh yeah, the salt and pepper. If, you, if I'm sure everybody noticed that we didn't use any salt and pepper. Um, and the reason why is because the cream of chicken and the cream of potato already have their own salt and then the rotisserie chicken is usually seasoned before it's cooked. So, and we don't, we tried not to eat a lot of salt anyway. Yeah. It's just easier for us just to salt and pepper when we sit down at the table. So if anybody was wondering. Yeah, and everybody's different. Everybody has different tastes. Some people like more yeah. salt, some people like less salt. Um, you can add whatever seasonings you want to the mix before you actually put it in the pie, in the pot pies. Um, but for us, like he said, yeah. it's just a whole lot of salt and we yeah. don't want to, we don't want that. Yeah, so You can always add salt, but you can't take it away. No, 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 you can't. Yeah. Not at all. So we will get to the photographing on this and be back to do a taste test with you once we're done. Can't wait. <laughs> well, the photography is done and we are back to have a taste test of these chicken pot pies. My favorite part, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, he likes to eat, so he likes and to taste. There's nothing compares to these. I mean, you can buy you can buy frozen pot pies in the store, but they they're just not the same. These are so much better. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Well, why don't you dig in and have a taste? And mm. how's the seasoning on it? Because we talked Perfect, about not having any seasoning in there. You can actually taste salt. Um, it's plenty salted enough. Um, I would just sprinkle some, probably some black pepper on it and that's it. Mm. That crust is so flaky and good, huh? That's that delicious. Such good flavor. Well, oh. what I'll do is I will take a copy, a photo of that uh, recipe of my mom's for this turkey pot pie. And I know it's going to be different than what we used, but of course we were preparing for a much larger um, serving. We had to have the pie as well as the three little tarts. So just know that you can either stick straight with the recipe, you can modify it with the different vegetables, you can modify it by either adding or not adding the cream of chicken soup. You can also go ahead and add seasoning to it if that's what you want to do. Uh, so it's very easy to change up. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And the more you make, I think the better off you're, you're, you're going to be because once you taste it, I think you're going to go, if you don't make enough, you're going to go, oh, I should have made more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we like to have it for leftovers, you know, yeah. over the next 
few days after we yeah. have it, uh, lunches or dinners or whatever. Mm. And it's perfect for that. It's very convenient, especially for busy families like we have now, you know, with both parents working. Um, it's nice to have leftovers the next day and not have to worry about cooking a meal. So, well, thanks for joining us. Um, hope to have some more of these coming up real soon. These videos, um, Dave and I will get together and we've already been kind of thinking around and tossing around, um, ideas for our next video. And that one should be ready to go by the 30th. So we post three times a month. Be sure you like us and follow us and all that good stuff. Pin us on Pinterest. It's always as Photo Visualista. And we thanks for, thank you for watching us and we will see you again soon. Bye.